All right, yo, welcome. Oh shit, sorry. Sorry. I just came inside from cutting the grass. It's late. It's almost 6 p.m. here right now as I'm shooting this. And the mailman's like, oh shit, I kind of forgot this package for you. And I was like, fuck you, mailman. Don't be forgetting my shit anymore. And what it is, is box number two of the Marvel Collector Core. I think I have it upside down. Ant-Man. See... If you remember, we did a review of the first Marvel Collector Core box, and it was okay. Maybe probably not worth the money you spend on it, but I didn't really think to cancel it because I never think to cancel shit that I don't want anymore. That's why I've been getting Sports Illustrated for like 35 years now. Um, then I saw that the uh, this box was going to be based on Ant-Man, and I was like, you know, I don't really know too much about Ant-Man, and... Um, the movie's coming out in a few weeks, so I was like, maybe, you know, I'll get an Ant-Man box, and maybe, you know, it'll teach me some shit about Ant-Man. So, here you can see Ant-Man right there. Get a nice close-up look at it. Marvel Collector Core, Marvel. There you go, boom, Ant-Man, and there's some information you really don't need to see over there, okay? Now, give you a nice... Uh, peak of the size of the box there i remember the avengers one being bigger it may have been because uh of the hulkbuster pop the box was bigger so i'm not really sure i don't think that the pop in here is as big pull this fucking thing out uh as the hulkbuster but we'll see all right i'm kind of disheveled here but no i said you know i said you know what, mailman? If you're gonna give me a box late, I'm gonna run right in the house and shoot an episode of Christian Michael's Figure Review. And just in case you're wondering, this is episode 89. So let's check out what's in the Ant-Man Marvel Collector Core box. So we'll have to... Boom, boom, boom. Alright, if you remember from the last one, you get a pin. There's the Ant-Man pin. Okay. And you get some type of iron on... Uh, badge or some whatever the hell you want to call it. There's the Ant-Man one. You can see the nice comic artwork for Ant-Man. Bada boom, back, back, bloom, whatever, blum, whatever. So there you go. Boxes are cool. I didn't keep the. Uh... Oh shit! I got. Oh wow. See, I've seen, um, there you can see the two Ant-Man and Yellow Jacket, the two that are coming, uh, released in correlation with the movie. I got Ant-Man Unmasked, which is pretty badass, and there you can see him right there, Ant-Man Unmasked, which I like way better. Oh, shit! Dude, look at this. This is fucking awesome. Look at this little guy that was in the box. That's, a, that's the Ant-Man with the mask on. There's Ant-Man unmasked. There you can see it. Boom. I've seen the uh, the Ant-Man with the mask full size. And I didn't really care for it. But so I'm just glad that I got this one. That's fucking cool. Um, there you can see Avengers Initiative there. As Ant-Man will be part of the MCU going forward. And it says, Fungo's smallest bobblehead... Uh, Marvel Collector Core exclusive. Now, I thought this was it. I was like, he doesn't look that small because here you compare him to the Flash. My, he's the same size as the Flash. So, but this is what they're talking about. This little dude right here. That's pretty cool. All right. So, already got me a little bit more uh, excited over this than the Avengers one. All right, let's show you what we got here Ant Man Bobblehead Mystery Minis. Okay. Let's check this out here. Blind bag. Oh, this dude is pretty cool. There you go, Ant Man, and it, it's a little mini bobblehead. So, uh, stepping it up with that fucking Ultron thing. I don't even remember what the hell that was called. Stupid ass thing. Marvel Collector Core Ant Man comic. I just hit the dog. The dog's under here. He's... Hi, dog. Dog's just chilling out. 
Marvel Ant-Man comic. Boom. And last but certainly not least, for a guy who has way too many t-shirts and never wears all of them, is the Ant-Man t-shirt. And this shit is pretty dope. It just says Ant-Man on it. And if you want to take a look at that, you can see my arms are killing me right now from having to do this, but the dog won't let me move. There's Ant-Man, the Funko Pop, I guess, Ant-Man, and it says actual size. And kind of is. If you want to, come on, dog. See? Well, maybe because he's uh, kind of running there and on the sleeve it says pop heroes now now he wants to get up jerk should probably get up with him he's probably gonna shit in the house there it says pop heroes on the pop tees i'm sorry pop tees on the uh sleeve and nothing else but this is a pretty cool shirt it's just the uh movie logo with the little ant-man dude actual size i mean i did it have to say actual size maybe but it's still pretty cool so we got some cool shit with this one and bobble the this world's smallest funko pop and ant-man unmasked pretty cool t-shirt so this one stepped up its game so I'm pretty pleased with box number two, especially not really knowing a lot about Ant-Man. And I took a chance on it because I said, you know what? I'm going to need to know a little bit about Ant-Man if I'm going to watch the movie, right? So maybe I'll read this comic book, right? If the movie's good, I already got some really cool collectibles from the movie. So I'm really... I don't know. I mean, this thing is cool, but I don't know what the hell you're going to do with it. It's so fucking small, you'll lose it. Just stick it up your nose or something. Yeah, I'm weird. I just stuck fucking Ant-Man up my nose. I'm crazy. But this is pretty cool, and I'm stoked about this pop. I still don't understand why only Marvel's pops are bobbleheads. I've got plenty of other pops here, and none of them are bobbleheads. Only the Marvel ones. We can go over this again, but I'm pretty sure I did it already, so we'll... And end it on this note. So, yeah. Box number two. Rad t-shirt. Cool bobbles. I mean, what the fuck are you gonna... I mean, I guess I'll keep these somewhere. With the other ones from the Avengers. Uh, and the, the comic book. I'll probably peruse through this. Maybe I won't. Just some naked dude getting eaten by ants. Uh, it's really not my thing. Maybe you're into that. So, episode 89, straight from the mailbox to the iPad, shooting, boom, we did the quickest turnaround in Christian Michaels' figure review history, the mailman handed me this, I said, fuck you for being late with my mail and forgetting shit, you jerk, and then I ran down here, still all, uh, cut the grass, thinking I'm some kind of weirdo wearing a gas mask, but... Yes, episode 89, Marvel Collector Core Box 2, and episode 90 is coming up because we got two figures from the new uh, WWE Target exclusive Hall of Fame that we need to review, plus a ringside exclusive, and my first and probably only figure from Elite Series 36, so be on the lookout for all that. I know I've been slow with the videos in the past couple weeks, you know. It's just life, people. It's just life. Gets in the way of doing shit that you really want to do. Playing with toys when you're 31 years old is kind of on the back burner. But, Ant-Man. See you later, guys.